Here's part four of our conversation with Mike Levine of Triumph as they celebrate the release of a brand new documentary called Rock and Roll Machine. To you, is it the fact that you were, why were you the producer? You could do it. You did a good job. Is it because you're wired that way? Is it because you worked your way into being able to spell that out? What was it about you being a producer? Well, I, I, I had um, been a, a, a small partner when I was very young at a record label. So uh, I was in, spent a lot of time in New York and a lot of time in recording studios. So I you know, worked with some great guys, Brooks Arthur, who was won Academy Awards for sound. You know, practically lived in his studio for a couple of months. You know, as a record. Um, <clears throat> wasn't my record, but got to hang around with um, Teddy Randazzle, who wrote, you know, Tears of a Cloud and all those great songs from the last week the Imperials. And so I had some experience in recording, so I kind of knew what I was doing. So when it came time for trying to make a record, it's like, okay, you're, Mike, you're the only guy who's ever been in a studio, really. So, you know, you, you better be the producer. So I went, all right, I'll take that on, no problem. So that's what I did. And that's, uh, that's the way it stayed all the way through. Even when we hired outside, we had outside help, it's kind of all came down to be regardless, you know, to make final decisions. What do people ask you the most? Not just interviewers, but fans. What do they ask you? When they come up to you, what are they, is there a question that pops up the most? Yeah, what, are you guys going to tour? <laughs> that's that's the question that comes from everybody. It can't. It's, that's not even the elephant in the room. That's just you know that's that's a fly that, that, that never goes away. Yeah, but you you still look like that guy. I mean, you look like an older version of him. That's normal. That's completely normal. But you still look like that guy. So do people recognize you when you walk into like? Yeah. Yeah, I got, I got a lot of recognition, which is, you know, you okay. You, like this, you see the husband and wife going? <laughs> Comes with the territory, right? It's like you should never, it's just, I'm, I'm, I'm pretty thrilled when it happens. They go, yeah, people don't forget. You know, it's just the people that don't forget, you, you know you affected them somehow, right? One fan asked, uh, and I know the answer to this, is just Lori asked, do you prefer the old uh, mo school model Record, uh, radio, video, tour, new model is self-produced record at home, YouTube. I mean, obviously you guys would, if you were 20 now, would have adapted no matter what, because I find that, but it's also a time and place, perfect timing, you know, perfect songs for the time. Um, what do you think of the industry now? I, I couldn't survive on it, to be honest with you. I think that the industry has changed so dramatically from, uh, <clears throat> Like there's no gatekeepers anymore, I guess is what it is. And, and even if you didn't like the gatekeepers, there was order, right? There wasn't 48,000 new songs being uploaded to Spotify every hour, you know? But, but the, there was no clutter. There was like, okay, here, here are the, you know, here's the record companies. You gotta, you gotta go get signed by the record somehow to get the record. Uh, here's radio stations. You gotta figure out how to get your songs on the radio. Are they good enough? Are they radio friendly? That kind of thing. Here are the concert promoters. You know, are they going to hire you and pay you? Well, if you've got a record deal and your record's on the radio, then yeah, of course they're. So there was an order to it. Yeah. Uh, honestly, I think industries without order eventually blow themselves up. Mm -hmm. and, uh, there has to be some kind of uh, come to Jesus of the record industry because it's all over the place. It, Really, 10% of the artists now are big 90% of the top, which is not good. It's not helpful. For more information on the brand new Triumph documentary, go to the official Triumph webpage. There'll be links in the description of this video. And remember, support the channel, buy a Rock History Music, Rock History Book, Rock History Canada t-shirt. Links also in the description. Make sure you comment on our videos, subscribe to our channel, and share our videos. I'm John Bowden from Rock History Music. Mm -hmm.